bounds. Welcome to our lesson 5, Buzzer. Introduction. You can use a buzzer whenever you want to make some noise. Components used. One Arduino Uno board, one breadboard, one USB data cable, one buzzer or active buzzer, and jumper wires. For the principle as a type of electronic buzzer with integrated structure, buzzers which are supplied by DC or direct current power are widely used in computers, printers, photocopiers, alarms, electronic toys, automotive electronic devices, telephones, timers, and other electronic products for voice devices. Buzzers can be categorized as active and passive ones. See the following picture. Turn the pins of two buzzer face up and the one with the green circuit board is a passive buzzer while the other enclosed with a black tape is an active one. The difference between an active buzzer and a passive buzzer is an active buzzer has a built-in oscillating, oscillating source so it will make sounds when electrified but a passive buzzer does not have such source so it will not tweet if DC signals are used. Instead, you need to use square waves whose frequency is between 2K and 5K to drive it. The active buzzer is often more expensive than the passive one because of multiple built-in oscillating circuits. In this experiment, we use the active buzzer. For our experimental procedure, step 1, build the circuit. So this is going to be the connection between the buzzer and Arduino Uno board. And this will be our schematic diagram. So again, there are four steps. So I've mentioned step one is to build the circuit. Step two, program. Step three, compile the code. Step four, upload the sketch to the Arduino Uno board. And after that, you should hear the buzzer make sounds. So this will be the actual implementation of the connection between Arduino Uno and the buzzer. Hi guys, welcome to our lesson number 5, the buzzer. And for this uh, lesson, we're going to make a sound using the buzzer. And if you are curious how we can find a positive or negative side of this buzzer when you can see it below it, and then let's, let's just flip this one and you can see the positive side and the negative. So this is the positive. And the other side, of course, it's negative. By the way, we are using the buzzer. We have the Arduino on the board, the breadboard, and connecting wire. So let's put this on the breadboard. So the, again, the positive side is the plus sign here. Let's put this this way. Again. What are the pins? Okay, let's make sure that we know where the pins are. So, so we don't have to mess with the connection okay and then and then let's push it so that's the connection there and make sure that you are aligned with its um, pin then the, the the positive side will will be on pin number 12 so because that's what we indicated in our code and of course, the negative side will be on its ground. So let's finalize the ground. So to make sure that you are on the proper connection, let's count this one. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and ground. So this, uh, this will be our connection again. As you can see, we have pin number 12 and the ground. The pin number 12 will be on the posit positive side of the buzzer. And the ground of the buzzer will be on the ground of Arduino Uno. Now let's fat it up. Let's connect it to a power source. So we, before that, we need to upload the code. So the code is given on this, on the link, the, on the link of this YouTube channel or YouTube video. Again, the the Arduino code for this project is on the link of this YouTube video. Now let's fire it up and connect it to the power source. And let's see what happens next. So as you can see, you have the sound there. 
Can you hear it? Yes, that's the sound, the tone that we have configured in our Arduino Uno code. If you want to modify the the sound of this um, buzzer, you just need to alter it in your Arduino code and whatever tone that you want to explore or to innovate and to upload in your Arduino code, you can possibly do it. What's up guys? Welcome again to our lesson number 5, the buzzer. So this is the Arduino code for our buzzer activity for lesson number 5. So we have here an, an initialization of the, what number pin will be will the buzzer be or int or integer buzzer is equal to 12 the pin of the active buzzer as we have seen earlier so on the void setup we declare that the buzzer is an output pin mode buzzer comma output so that initializes the buzzer pin as an output for our void loop we have here indicated unsigned character one define a variable while one Inside the while loop, we have your output and uh, output frequency. For i is equal to 0, i is less than 80, then i plus plus. So that's, that increments the value of i. So from 0, it will go to the incrementation until it reaches the value number 80. That means that for while this is executed we have here digital right buzzer high which activates the sound of the buzzer we have a one microsecond delay so we and then after that is the buzzer will uh, turn off for a little while like one microsecond so as you as indicated here so it's high low that means it's on off on off on off okay and then we have here indicated output another frequency like for i is equal to zero i is less than 100 i plus plus so that increments the value of i and then digital right buzzer high the delay is two microseconds again digital right buzzer low delay two seconds so basically that's our arduino code for our buzzer and if you want to know more about this you can explore it you just have to modify the code and see what happened and you just have to modify the code and you will see what will happen after you modify the code okay bye